Hello, my name is Tracy Weatherington, Director of the Microsoft Cloud Infrastructure Practice for Champion Solutions Group. The purpose of this video is to make you aware of Champion's services around Windows 10, specifically upgrade readiness. As you are probably aware, mainstream support for Windows 7 is ending in January 2020. If you haven't already started making the transition to Windows 10, now is the time. Champion can assist your company, whether 500 or 5,000 users, make the transition to Windows 10 utilizing Upgrade Readiness powered by Azure. Upgrade Readiness can ease the burden of making the transition to Windows 10 by identifying applications and device drivers that may not be compatible with Windows 10. The Upgrade Readiness portal also helps, your, helps you prepare for your deployments by creating groups of computers that, are, that already meet upgrade requirements. Let's take a look at the Upgrade Readiness Portal powered by Azure. Now that we've logged into the Azure portal, let's have a look at the Update Readiness. Here you can see we're inventorying 5,000 computers. We've actually set our target version to Windows 10 version 1809. With Upgrade Readiness, you can specify the version of Windows 10 that you need to analyze. Once you've upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 10, you can still continue to use Upgrade Readiness for future releases of Windows 10. Here further in our Upgrade Readiness Portal, you can see Identify Important Apps, Resolve Issues. So let's look at the apps. It's actually identified 10,000 different applications inside of our environment. 509 of these applications need to be reviewed. Um, that's a lot of applications, but that's very typical for most environments. Resolve Issues. Here you can see it's broken down applications with known issues. These we need to identify and fix inside our environment. It's identified known drivers. It's identified 168 drivers in need of review. Here we've identified 53 low-risk applications, 164 low-risk drivers in need of review, and 110 apps and drivers to test to unblock 10% of the computers. So it actually helps you prioritize which drivers and applications need to be identified inside your environment for remediation and preparation for Windows 10. Here we can actually click on drivers and need a review. So we can drill down and get really in depth in the data that we're collecting within your workstations. So Azure's provided here 138 drivers that are available in Box and from Windows Update. So let's drill down even further into that. Here we can create a table that shows all the different drivers that it collected. Here are all the information about the driver. So now what do you do with this information? There's a lot of different things that you can do. You can simply hit export here and export it directly to Excel. So from Excel, we can now create uh, a report that actually details whether or not the device driver is stable, uh, the computer ID, the hardware name of the device driver, the driver name itself and version, driver date, whether or not it's okay to pilot this and whether or not it's continue to, to move forward. So you can actually export this data and massage it however you like inside of Excel. Another great option with this data is you can click on Power BI and export this data directly to Power BI. So what I've done is I've clicked on Power BI and I've exported that script and then taken just a few minutes to create a breakdown utilizing Power BI. This actually shows me the various different device drivers and the majority of the device drivers that I'm having problems with inside my environment. So this particular device driver here would address almost 50% of the problems I'm having inside the environment. Power BI and Excel are great tools to help create these reports to present to your management team and continue to, up, to, continue to monitor your upgrade processes. Now that we've identified apps and device drivers that may be causing us problems with our Windows 10 upgrade, we can now move on to the deployment step and monitoring step. With Upgrade Readiness Deploy, we can actually create collections or computer groups based on the information that we collected in the previous two steps. With Deploy, we can also connect that directly to our, our on-premise System Center Configuration Manager to create collections based on the information collected in steps one and two. So in other words, Deploy will automatically create those collections in SCCM in preparation for deployment. Once those collections are created, we can then move on to the monitoring phase of our deployment. Here we can look at the number of computers upgraded, ones with device driver issues still, still non-compliant, those that upgraded without issue, 
those that failed. And just like previously, we can drill down into this information for more detailed information about which computers failed, which ones upgraded, what issues we're having inside the environment. In addition to deployment, we also can look at Office add-ins such as Microsoft Azure, OneNote, Team Foundation, etc. So this also gives us some really good insight into any Office add-ins that may be causing us some issues in our upgrade. One additional thing that you can do that's not mandatory but it's pretty neat information is actually site discovery. So inside uh, upgrade readiness, we can actually see where the majority of the users are coming from. So how does upgrade readiness work? What Champion will do, will do is deploy a PowerShell script either utilizing SCCM or PowerShell inside your environment. And what this script does is actually sends all of its telemetry data for the workstations up to Azure. So here we'll actually enable telemetry on our computers. We'll inventory hardware, drivers, and applications. We'll send that data to the Microsoft Data Management Services. From there, it will go to the upgrade readiness service. From there, it goes inside your OMS workspace portal, which we recently just showed you. And then here you can use the upgrade readiness solution to identify those apps. So it's actually taking that telemetry data, analyzing it, and creating the update readiness solution for you. Once that data is collected, we can then utilize SCCM with the upgrade readiness information to create the collections, as I previously mentioned, to help you deploy Windows 10. As you can see, using Upgrade Readiness in conjunction with Azure is an extremely powerful tool in helping you make that transition from Windows 7 to Windows 10 and continuing the upgrade path of the new versions of Windows 10. Give us a call at Champion Solutions Group. Let us help you with your transition to Windows 10.